Alright, so this is going to be a different video of what I normally do as I have decided to start a trading course. And many of you guys may know me as age trader here on YouTube. And I make, you know, videos on ICT concepts, really simplifying them so everyone can understand what it is. But I have decided to start a trading course so we can really get the beginners also. And I'm going to pair this within weeks. So the first week we're going to talk about the basics within trading. Also talk about, you know, what we see on the charts, candlesticks, wicks, highs and lows, etc. Then the more weeks we go into this trading course, the more advanced it's going to get. The goal of this trading course is not to be profitable. It's more that you have a good understanding on what we see on the charts and that you also have a great understanding on the most important ICT concepts, in my opinion, which I'm going to talk a lot more about. As it is a really unrealistic expectation that just because you have watched a trading course on YouTube that you're going to be profitable. There is a lot more to it. And one of the most important things, which I can already mention, is screen time. And you get that by experience, and experience takes a lot more time. So that's just one thing that we can get out of the way. Something that we're also going to talk a lot about when we have learned all of these ICT concepts and the basics on the chart is how to really trade your own strategy or how to build your own strategy. As if you don't have a trading strategy, it's going to be hard for you to keep your results consistent. So that is also something that we're really going to talk a lot about on this trading course. Now that the introduction is done, we can start talking about candlesticks. As if we don't know how to identify a candlestick, we don't know how to trade the ICT concepts. And when you log into TradingView, your chart is going to be a bearish candle is red and a bullish candle is green. So just so you have the same settings as me, if you want to, then go into settings, chart settings, then press on symbol, and then just copy the same settings as me. Now that you have the same settings as I do, we can start talking about what we see on the charts. Now, every green candle, as we just talked about before, is a bullish candle, and every bearish candle is a black one. Now, we can see this bearish candle right here, or a down close candle as we call it, price opened. Right here we see we have this kind of black box, that is what we call the body. So price opened, and then it closed down here where the body ends. And the long wicks, that is out of the body, sticking out of the body, that is where price have been. So price have been here, and price have been all the way down here. And that we can see right here with this wick, we can see it went down here. And it went all the way up here. And if we just take this over here, we can see that we have the opening price right here. And we can see the price have been here. And it has been all the way down here. And now we're just waiting to see if price or where price wants to close at, right? And we can see by the end of this candlestick that price opened right here. Then it was all the way up here, and it was all the way down here, and then it closed right here. And you could see down here at this candlestick, price opened right here. Then it has been all the way up here, and it has been all the way down here. And here we see price made a close. So that's how we can identify a bearish candle. And now identify a bullish candle is just the opposite of how to identify a bearish candle, right? As we see, we have the opening price. Then we have the closing price where the body ends. And then we have the wicks, as we talked about. And that is where price have been at. Right here. As we can see. So that is how to identify a bullish candle. There is something called candlestick patterns, which I don't really personally use, but I know if you are a beginner, it could be a little useful, as then you could see how these candlesticks move. Now here we can see that price made a large wick, as we can see right here. It made this large wick, and then instead of closing down here as price have reached all the way down here which we talked about before it closed all the way up here 
and that kind of indicates the price went down here, closed up here. So now, where could we anticipate price to move? We could anticipate price to move up here, right? Because we make a large move to the downside and then a large move to the upside. So that indicates higher prices. And also up here, we could see price made a large wick up here and then closed only down here, right? We can see that. So price went all the way up here and then instead of closing, maybe up here, price chose instead to close down here, which also signals that price is mostly bearish. As we can see, we had up here, closed down here. Now, where does it look price wants to move? It wants to move slower, right? So that's also how we can use the, these kind of candlestick patterns to our advantage. And this candlestick pattern is called a hammer candle. If you want to search it up on the internet, then you will find this. And another reason why we can see the price wants to move higher is because price, as I said before, had the opportunity to close all the way down here. But instead, price chose to close up here, right? So that indicates higher prices. Again, just a brief overview. Now let's go over to the next candlestick pattern. Another candlestick pattern is called a doji candle. And when we have a doji candle, that usually signals that price is trading within low probability conditions, meaning it's hard to find a trade entry. And how to identify a doji candle is very simple. So right here we have a doji candle, where price opens, went higher, went lower, and then closed. So when the opening price and the closing price is very close to each other, and the wicks are way larger than the body, then we have a doji candle. And we can actually see that we have several doji candles right here. We also have one here and one here. Now let's just go down into the lower time frame, which is the one minute time frame as well as the five minute time frame, and see how this doji candle looks like. Down here on the one minute time frame, we can see that we have that five minute candle open, and then we have the five minute candle open or close, which was the doji candle. And after that, we can see that price was just trading higher and lower also having large wicks and this doji candle told us that price was not trading in favorable conditions meaning that every trade entry or it is hard to find a trade entry and that every trade entry is most likely not going to hold all right that was it for this video i really hope you learned something and took some great notes about candlesticks and candlesticks patterns and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below also, in the next video, we're going to talk about the first ICT concept, which is called a market structure shift.